Welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and courtesy of my friends over at Playmates Toys, we're taking an early look at their brand new Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wave 1, based on the upcoming television show, based off the movie, of which we have new figures with vehicles, and we got new figures that swip swap all kinds of parts for mutations. Now, first and foremost, we got the four turtle bros. Leo, Donnie, Raph, and Michelangelo. And the whole shtick this time around is that they're going to be inner swappable parts and pieces. And of course, this is all based off the new show, Tales of the TMNT. It's a cartoon show as of this video. I've not seen it, but it looks to be pretty cool. It's going to deal with robots and it's going to continue the movie. And I think kids will definitely have a lot of fun. Keep in mind, these are for children. These are the children's TMNT, so they can swap parts to create their own mutants on the back side of the packaging, the usual. You're going to see every single figure that's forthcoming in the line, and you get to see a little bit of a bio talking about the fearsome new foe that these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles must face, so I'm looking forward to that. Here's a look at all the new figures. These were actually on display at Toy Fair last year. These are the ones I couldn't take photos of, so it's nice to be able to finally talk about all the robots and Metalhead and every Everything that is involved with that, even new mutants, which are coming, but they're not part of this initial first wave. So here's the barcode for Leonardo. Now, I'm taking an early look at these, but expect these to come out within the next couple weeks or so, possibly early. We will see. Donatello is, of course, part of the line. You gotta have the tech genius. I actually like Donatello in the new movie. I thought that was pretty funny. Here's the barcode for him. And then, of course, we have the rude one, or at least... The one that's hyperventilating all the time in the movie, Raphael. Here's the barcode for him. And then, of course, we have Michelangelo, which, of course, Mikey's always going to be one of my faves. He was always my fave growing up. Now I'm more of a Leonardo guy, which it changes every so often. But those are the four turtles. Now, like I said, we also have some new vehicles that come with exclusive figures. So they're going to be a little bit different than some of the other releases. Like this exclusive Raphael with helmet and his red driving gloves. And of course, this is the purple dragon cycle, which looks very purpley. But my main thing is that it has rocket launching action. But I love the artwork. The artwork is very eye catching. More of that. I love seeing all those turtle bros. Now, on the back side, it'll give you a detailed look at everything you're about to enjoy. A little bit of a bio for this Purple Dragon cycle. Apparently, Raphael stole it. <laughs> That's part of the fun. Everything that you kind of see will probably happen in some way, shape, or form in the upcoming show, including this push-to-fire rocket for that rocket launching action. And here's the barcode for Raphael and his Purple Dragon cycle. Now... We have a villain. Well, kind of, sort of. Well, kind of based on how the movie went, who knows? But Rocksteady is a villain in my book. And of course, this is his chopper cycle. So you get an exclusive Rocksteady with helmets. And wait a minute, that totally reminds me of the old school Playmates TMNT Psycho Cycle. And if you look closely as we look at the cycle, yeah, you'll definitely see some similarities, which is a nice touch. I like that a lot. On the back side, you get some more of the bio information. And where does Rocksteady get this cycle? I'm just kidding. No, it's just mainly just talking about how he street cruises around and causes mayhem. But you can push to fire these missiles and... I love that. On the bottom of the box, you got all the cross cells of the other figures, which have already come out. You have the party wagon and all that jazz with those other vehicles. For the most part, you'll be able to find these no problem in stores. It's a little bit of a holdover, so this kind of finalizes the whole movie aspect of the toy line. And now moving into Tales of the TMNT, and here's the barcode for Rocksteady and his sweet psycho cycle. I, that's, that's what I'm going to be calling it. That's what it. It's like a mini psycho cycle. So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new from Playmates Toys and based off the upcoming Paramount Nickelodeon television show, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Wave 1. 
All right, so now that everything's out of the packaging, we're gonna kick off all this nonsense with a look at the brand new vehicle and action figure sets. And I think that in terms of offering, again, for more of the kids line, we have so many other outlets as adult collectors for TMNT, let the kids enjoy this one. But as a collector, you might see some value in these. Raph with his purple dragon cycle. Raphael himself has his helmets. You got some nice details, some nice colors, some nice paints. It's not all that different from ones we have seen released thus far. I even like how the bandana is sticking outside of the helmet, but the sculpt is nice. The coloring is nice. That's very much Raphael from the new movie, and he does have some weapon storage, although they're a little bit cumbersome to get in there with the way the articulation is, just heads up. But it's not really that big a deal. It'll go in regardless. It might warp the size from time to time, as if that never happened with the old Playmate stuff that we grew up with. But he holds the weapons very nicely. He only comes with a two psi. And then it's going to be largely the same exact articulation that we have seen thus far. With the appropriate amount of articulation to then get him riding on the Purple Dragon cycle. That's a very key element for this two pack, of course. But in terms of the actual motorcycle, that's pretty darn cool. It almost looks like a G2 Transformer in many ways, from the audacious lime green to the purples and the reds. It also has a kickstand. I like how that pops down and keeps the figure on the bike nice and stable. It's just very simplistic. Yeah, there's a lot of detail. A lot of it is hollow. It's a very light bike. It does have funny elements like the duct tape around the seat and you got the R for Raph. And yes, it's very colorful, very cartoony. But on the front right here, you see this light. And that's what I particularly like because when you push this button right here, Boom, that's gonna fire, and I think we need to test it out on an unsuspecting rock steady and knock him over. Thank you, look at that. Every time I seem to do these, it never seems to work out. But clearly, yes, you can articulate Raphael onto the cycle, you can drive him around, you can have him just sitting there with the kickstand up or down. It's a really nice two-pack with a vehicle and a figure, but ultimately, I would say, not something for me. As an adult collector, Definitely one for the kiddos. You get the more expensive turtles, they get these Playmates ones, and you can fire off missiles till the cows come home. It's a pretty sweet figure. Now, in terms of Rocksteady and his Psycho Cycle, it's, it's gonna be the Psycho Cycle from now on, or just the miniature version, but Rocksteady himself, which, well, you gotta turn him to the side to even know what you're looking at here, but yes, that's very much the TMNT movie Rocksteady. He comes with one weapon himself, it's very reminiscent of old TMNT weapons. It's a flat gray color and he holds it nicely. So it does look good in that sense. This Rocksteady is different because he comes with a new hat and I love how that is how it has to work to fit that on his body. And that's really funny. It's a nice design. It totally works. The coloring on the figure is very simplistic, very simplistic paint, very simplistic articulation. He's got his big clod hopper feet, but ultimately, it's an odd end design for me in terms of Rocksteady, but Playmates has done a great job in bringing that into plastic form. In talking about the cycle now, that, much like the colorfulness of Raphael's Purple Dragon cycle, this one has a very old school color nature to it. The oranges, the reds, it's almost jarring to the eye, but pleasing as well, like with a giant skull face on the top. And again, that's what makes it very much the psycho cycle with the missiles on the side and those rotating tires and the whole fact that it's a chopper and that's very cool. It's just missing the buzzard, right? The little guy that sits on the back. And overall, this is my favorite of the two, obviously because of the nostalgia factor that it presents, but in terms of fitting Rocksteady on the cycle and having him hold the handlebars, everything looks good. He looks really great atop this cycle. So I would say ultimately, that's definitely a home run for just the totality of everything in this package. However, you wanna see those missiles, and I wanna see those missiles, and we got some turtle bros to take out. So we're gonna fire these off accordingly, and... <laughs> well, at least it worked with Raphael. Anyways, let's try the second missile. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> Somehow that went it, you have a wall of turtles and it missed them all. All right, three times the charm right now. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> you can't make that up. Right between them, 
My God, that is that's that's pretty good. Of course, that that would happen. So to clarify, yes, I, I really do like this cycle with Rocksteady. Now, let's talk about some Turtle Bros here. And I'm impressed for the price point and you get a figure and a, a ton of accessories in the packaging, all of which will help you uh, cobble together your own mutant turtle or robot or Master Splinter, like you see here with Raphael. Each Turtle Bro gets a different set of weapons, different set of pieces, and that's actually a nice touch as well. Not much is really reused outside of, let's say, Metalhead from Leonardo to Donatello. All the Turtles will get their corresponding weapons, of course, and then what's actually kind of interesting is that all four Turtles each get three different styles of throwing stars. So again, that's a nice touch. You got Michelangelo here looking all cool with his robotic parts and pieces and nunchucks. So we'll use him as the basis for what we're gonna be talking about today. So Mikey comes with a robotic leg. And again, I'm gonna point out, there's no articulation in these figures in the elbows or the knees, unfortunately, but you'll see why in just a second because it comes with extra robot pieces and you get the nunchucks. And really what they're going for is the play factor of swapping out parts and pieces. So not much paint on these accessories, if at all. So flat black, flat gray, that's gonna be the name of the game here, including again, some throwing stars, throwing discs, throwing blades, whatever you wanna call them. And each of the weapons have holes for storage on the belt, like with Michelangelo here, who I think they could have improved upon the face, at least in the paint. He is a little bit too dark of a smile. They could have lighten that up just a little bit. Like I said, plenty of weapon storage on the belts. The belts are removable if you want to take them off, but then how are you gonna store all these parts and pieces every which way? And I like that they each have enough storage every which way all over the belts for every single weapon, every single part that they come with, minus the swappable robot pieces, if you catch my drift. But like I said, it's gonna be Bare minimum articulation, the whole name of the game is swapping out the parts and pieces as such. So everything is removable until you're left with just a torso of Michelangelo. <laughs> Pretty gruesome. But that's where the fun is for the kids. And you swap him out with parts and pieces to make a robot Michelangelo, a mutant. You can really interswap between every single part and piece for every single turtle, every single figure in this line. And again, much in, in kind of going with the He-Man origins and their style, it's basically now with the Ninja Turtles, which is funny because Mattel has crossed over with the whole Turtles of Skull, and now Playmates seems to be doing the origins thing with their turtles and whatnot. So yeah, a, a lot of customizable options, which I think will keep kids coming back for that play function if kids today are into action figures, much like we were all back in the day. But yes, it's something of a horrifying nature to see all these robotic parts in Splinter's head. <laughs> now, with Michelangelo finally all put back together, I will show you that once again, there is no articulation in the elbows or the knees. Each of it just kind of swivels at their respective ports, so it will get kind of gappy, just FYI. But they have plenty of weapon storage, especially for Michelangelo's nunchucks. Then you have the blades, and really with just pegging in all the weapons, that was fun in and of itself. You could put every which weapon every which way if you like. But one thing I wanna point out is on the shell, you see it has these little slots right here, and you can stick all of the shuriken blades, the throwing stars, into the shell. Every single turtle has them, which makes me think that at some point that will probably happen. That'll be a funny moment in the upcoming television show. But I kind of like that. I like that they just threw that in there with all the different throwing stars. And really, with the limited articulation, you can get some nice turtle poses out of this. Again, to reiterate, the name of the game is swappable parts and pieces, not an overly articulated action figure, of which those are already out, those already exist if you want to go that route. When looking at Donatello, it's gonna be the same exact thing. He will come with the bow staff. However, his is kind of reminiscent of the old school Playmates coloring of the weapons, but you can swap it out for a giant pipe. You can put all the throwing stars every which way. You can get Donatello a going pretty darn cool. Same thing with Leonardo. He's got his katanas. He very much has some old school weapons like the old Playmates turtles, including that piece that 
look like a, a half-eaten piece of pizza, right? We all remember that one or getting the clothesline out and throwing those things down there as like a zip line sort of deal. Raphael will be the same dealio with all the throwing stars. He's got his pair of Psy going on. And really, these are kind of a, a different tone, a breath of fresh air in the sense of where the weapons store and everything else. So Raphael will store his Psy on his back, which is odd, right? They usually go in the front. But that doesn't take away from the fact that and these are very different turtles for a very different era, but the turtles themselves, when they're all stacked up, ready to go, weapons in hand, every single gadget, every parts and piece on them, it's a nice collection of Ninja Turtles, if this style of Ninja Turtle be your thing. But if you were wondering, how does the recent party wagon measure up with these turtles? Well, it's obviously going to go together very nicely. There's not much different. It's just a new toy playing aesthetic. But yes, to put Raphael and Donatello with the party wagon, that totally looks cool. And I like how this all fits. This is bringing back the fun to a new generation of TMNT fans. No, these are not the turtles for us. I can definitely see a lot of the value in there of things of like, oh, well, that reminds me of that and the pizza thrower and everything else. But I have various other TMNTs that I've been collecting that I thoroughly enjoy. But these are something you can definitely do with the kiddos. And for that alone, there's the value, especially when... You want to create your abominations of nature <laughs> and staying true to the whole swappable swappage that these TMNT figures boast. I would say that you can make your own freaks of nature and just have a blast doing it. Get your parents, get your kids, have a family fun night full of TMNT and pizzas and watching the old cartoon, watching the 90s movies. You'll have a great time. I love how Donatello just has a metal arm. That's what I think. Donatello would have anyways. You can read the old Mirage comics for those wanting to know reference on that. But through and through, I would say definitely these is a home run of a toy line for kiddos that definitely love TMNT. And yes, you can make your own Metalhead if you so desire, but not to worry. Metalhead is part of the Tales of the TMNT line, so he will be getting his own figure soon enough. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new first wave of the upcoming Playmates toys Tales of the TMNT action figure line. And again, thank you to my friends over at Playmates for sending these out for the purposes of this early look. I would say, overall, it's a pretty solid home run of a toy line. It incorporates some definite play value, tons of weapons, tons of accessories. The vehicles fare okay. I would say not much for me personally outside of the weapon projectile firing. I especially love that. But Rocksteady and his nostalgic Psycho Cycle is definitely the highlight for me. But you've heard my thoughts, so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Tales of the TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yes, stay tuned. The new television show will be on Paramount+. Plus, and it's by Nickelodeon. And we can all give it a watch when it finally releases this summer. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.